in fashion merchandising and design. And um, I've had an amazing career in the, um, the fashion industry. And so for me, coming back to Tulsa, it was just like a slowdown. Um, and I was just like, eh, this is not the place I want to be. But here is where God really um, set me down and uh, planted me so that I can really bloom into who he had for me, me to be. And I've been back here since 2000. Did I say 2014 or 2012? 2012, since I've been back. But um, since I've been back and I've surrendered to what God wanted me to do, it has been amazing. So in 2016, um, I just became a vendor for a, a company out of Atlanta called Natural Girls Rock. And I decided I wanted to just sell jewelry on the side. And um, in doing that, it took off so quickly. And so um, in the mix of it taking off, I was just like, oh, wow. Okay, how am I going to do this and do my full time retail job? So I just started selling the jewelry on the side and just making a little extra money. And it just started to grow. And I just began to um, build my reputation and my um, clientele around just making those sales. And so here I am. It has definitely been a journey. Um, for me, it's been an amazing journey because I've learned so much um, in doing this. But um, coming out of retail, I stepped out of retail a few about a year or so ago, and I am fully into this entrepreneurial thing, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am like head in in this entrepreneurial thing, and it's been a blessing because on top of me um, learning, I'm not failing. I'm learning a lot of new things um, in the mix of, and I am. I'm just really grateful for where I'm at right now. Um, and it brings me to this moment of being highlighted with Naturally Versatile. So that probably not a lot about me. For me, I am just an awesome person. I think I love myself. <laughs> but no, I, I, am a, I am the, of course, the director for PWIN, but I am just one that just loves to support and help others grow. And PWIN gives me that platform to do that. And so to know Jennifer, um, you, you have to know that I love people. I love seeing people win. And that's really what PWIN is all about, which is why I love being a part of it. But that is who I am. And here we are um, with Naturally Versatile. I'll share a little bit more about it later on, but this is where we're at. And yes, we love you, Jennifer. And yes, you are a nice person. You're you're really <laughs> cool. You're you're our girl. Okay, you're our phenom. So we yes, love it. I, uh, so I you know, <laughs> it's amazing. So you know, I am like thoroughly distracted because I am loving that dress behind you. I am like that is like so me. The colors are me. It's like the whole the whole vibe is going on. And and then I see you got the fringe purse back there. And so yes. naturally versatile. You have you carry. You're an accessory boutique, and you carry unique accessories. I know mm -hmm. that uh, the very first thing that I bought, I bought two. I bought these white glasses and look I was trying to find them but I was running out of time I bought these white glasses and these black glasses when we were at the level up event when I first met you and I wore them like the rest of the time that I was in Tulsa I wore them for the rest of the event I wore them for the rest of the time I came back with these glasses because I had never seen these glasses anywhere else so you specialize in unique accessories so how do you find your accessories uh, and i see everyone that's joining us hey y'all come on in hey, learn man. about naturally versatile and look get ready to shop okay that's what i that's what i gotta say get ready to shop but how do you find do you do you look um do you use a particular wholesaler do you shop around can you find some stuff that you don't just always see everywhere yeah, so um, with, like I said earlier, um, I started out with a vendor out of Atlanta um, called Natural Girls Rock, and I just got a wholesale account. Um, but being in, um, being in fashion, I kind of know a little bit of background of the vendors. So once I like got my business established and registered, um, I reached out to different vendors. There's a way you have to go buy it. 
but it's very, um, you have to be very intentional about connecting with these vendors and the, the things that you're buying. And so it takes some time. So um, for me, I, I build relationships with the vendors and the manufacturers for those who I'm shopping from um, to ensure that the customer that I'm buying for, um, that it is versatile in her closet. So originally, so naturally versatile, what it is, is an accessory boutique. Um, I started out as a pop-up boutique um, where I offer uh, unique and versatile styles for um, the woman's wardrobe. Um, for that woman who loves to express her individuality through fashion. She loves to do like just different things. She loves to wear tie-dyed skirts and dresses. She loves to wear love earrings, but she can incorporate it in her wardrobe that she already has. And so when I shop, I shop with her closet in mind. And so when I started out, I started out as just doing pop-up shops and I would just buy for that particular event. With that being said, that's how I shopped with that customer in mind. Because if I was shopping for a women's conference, I knew that that clientele was gonna be different. So I would get the information that I needed from that conference and then I would do my buying. But because I've built relationships with the vendors that I have, I know that I can get my product in time. I know that things are gonna be, I can trust it and I'm going to be able to sell a quality item to that woman that I'm going to be selling to. And so I take my time. So I didn't buy a lot of things. So I would tell people, you see it now, you better get it <laughs> because I didn't have a website. Um, and so that worked for me. And I began to build my clientele around that. And I have quite a few ladies that trust what I buy because they know that it's quality. So with that, it has, it has elevated me to now launching my website. And so here I am. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much to Boss Encounters, Miss Crystal Ipakoya for getting my website together. Um, I'm still posting new product. I do have more product coming in, but um, I'm actually getting ready to go to the Magic Project uh, resourcing uh, show in Las Vegas on Saturday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I will have a lot of great new product um, to launch in the fall. I will have more clothing that I will be launching in the fall. Um, I don't necessarily like to purchase clothing that I can't see, touch, and feel. Um, I want to be able to make sure that the quality is good. So I will have more clothing available um, come fall, but you have tons of accessories to shop from right now. So yes, yeah, so check out the website. I'm excited about this, y'all. Listen, it is, it's been a journey but it is, it is all worth it in where I'm at right now. One of the things that I love about you, Jennifer, is you are so hands-on. Like you said, you like to, you know, you're very intentional with what you purchase, with what you carry. Um, you're very hands-on, you're very selective. And, and that's one of the things that people have to know is that you are running a boutique. And so you may not have 500 of a particular item and you're gonna see your dress or your jewelry or your purse everywhere. You may mm -hmm. only have five pieces of this particular thing. And so people gotta shop. When they see what they like, they need to shop, they need to go get it uh, because it is unique and it's not gonna just be in abundance and everywhere. But you're very intentional with what you purchase, which again, it goes to your customer service background. You have a background in customer service. You That is like your pet peeve. We all have that it thing that like gets under our skin and we're like, oh my gosh, I could just scream. You're that way about customer service. Okay. You are like, when it comes to my customers, I'm not playing. When it comes to you being a customer, you're like, look, don't play with me. Uh, so talk just a little bit about the experience. What can people expect when they come to your website, when it comes to um, when it comes to shipping and receiving? What type of service can they expect from Naturally Versatile? So you're going to, you're going to receive the, the best of the best service. Um, once your order is placed, uh, it will go out immediately. You don't have to worry about waiting around on it. 
not unless it's something that's on back order. If it's something that's on back order, you will know, you will be informed, you will be updated on it. But for me, I will make sure um, that you are, um, you have access to, um, to my, my numbers, uh, my emails, anything that you are needing. If you have a question about it, I will be available. Um, I, one of the things that I, I really focus on is I want to make sure that the experience is great. And so for me, as I step into this with my own website, um, I, one of the things I realized is, is that coming out of retail um, and going into the entrepreneur arena, I didn't have the luxury of all the systems that were in play um, that I had with my retail jobs. And so as I moved forward to launch this website, uh, I, I know how important it is to make sure that I have systems in play to provide you with that customer experience that you need. Um, you, you, will, you will, what am I trying to say here? You will experience the best of the best. I, I will ensure if you want to reach out to me via DM, you can, because I'm just that type of person. I want one to know um, that they can trust my brand and they can trust a product that I am um, shipping out to them. Returns, if you have any returns, you know, let me know. I know with COVID and with a lot of accessories, a lot of accessories are not returnable because of hygiene um, reasons. But for any clothing that I have on the website, if it doesn't work out for you, let me know. We can work it out. Um, I'm available. There's a, it's not a policy where you cannot um, return or that you can't receive the best service that you're wanting to receive. So Phenom, look, I'm over here communicating in the chats, okay? So I'm having to drop in the the uh, your website information. So right now, just go ahead and let people know your website and how they can get to it. I'm typing it in and we're communicating. People didn't see the butterfly yes. accessories you got. So we, we just got it <laughs> popping over here. Yes, yeah, so you can go to naturallyversatile.net. You can also check me out on Facebook. Um, I haven't really been focusing on my Facebook as much, but go straight to the website, naturallyversatile.net. And then my Instagram, you will also be seeing Instagram and, as well as my Facebook in the next week or so, you'll be seeing more um, newer product um, featured every, every other day um, as I get it in. But naturallyversatile.net is going to be the website. That's one of the things I was going to ask you is how often do you refresh your inventory? So every other day we could see new inventory. So we got to check out the website regularly. Yes. So here's the thing. So with me just starting out, I have like, because I have accessories, I have quite a few accessories. So you're going to be seeing new things throughout this month um, regularly. New things that I'll be, and it may be one or two items that I'll be uploading every other day. But you can expect to see newer things every other day. And then when the fall comes along, as I said earlier, my goal is to have more pieces, more clothing. Um, I'm really searching for, I, I, listen, I am really searching for a vendor that offers um, higher, higher styles, I mean, higher sizes. Um, I want to be able to provide a variety of styles and sizes for my clientele. Um, and so going to Las Vegas next week is going to be key for me doing that. And as I get that, build that up, I guarantee you're going to love the stuff <laughs> because I've been, I've been seeing a few things, but like I said, I got to see, touch and feel it and make sure that it's quality. Cause I want to know that when it's going out to you, that you're going to love it. You're not going to return it. You're going to be getting compliments on it. You're going to be getting those compliments. Girl, where you get that at? You look great. So I want to make sure that I'm providing a quality, um, quality item. And you make it so affordable, Jennifer. When I went on the website, I was like, okay, wait a minute. We went on the website in preparation for showcasing Naturally Versatile in August. And I went on and right away, I was like, oh, I see a ring. I see some earrings. I see this. I see that. And you all, it's like from $7 to, I think right now, now it could change tomorrow, but right now I think the price range is like $7 to like $35. Girl, you make it affordable for us. Yeah. 
Yes, and it has to be. I mean, that's one of the things, you know, when you're adding to your wardrobe because of the things that I'm purchasing, it's add-ons. And so as I as I purchase more clothes, the clothing is, of course, is going to be, you know, a little bit higher in price. But I want you to be able to afford it. I want you to be able to look good um, in quality pieces and just enjoy enjoy your outfit and without breaking the bank, you know? Um, I, I understand that, you know, people... You know, they say, oh, quality and designers. Well, I'm not a designer. <laughs> I, am a, I am a retailer. And so I want to be able to provide a product that you can afford, you can add to your wardrobe and you not feel like, well, well, you remember Lelways? Yeah. You know, just, yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to have to put it on Lelway. <laughs> I bought my first stereo on Lelway from Kmart. I'm like dating myself. But it was a very, I bought like this high, those high stereos that used to be in those cases. And I had it on layaway at Kmart for like two or three months, y'all. I was like maybe like 16 years old or something like that. And that was my first experience with layaway. We laid it away. We didn't have no problem. Listen, layaways had us right. <laughs> but yes, I want it to be affordable. I, I do. I want it to be affordable. We got a lot of great boutiques that are out here. Um, that are coming up, a lot of great boutiques that launched during the pandemic, um, and they get it. They understand um, the importance of quality and um, access and service. They understand it. And so I'm just jumping in the pool with them. And um, well, I would say staying in my lane, because what God has for me is for me. Naturally Versatile is Jennifer's babies, Jennifer's heart. And so what you will get from Naturally Versatile it will be completely different from all the other boutiques that are out here. So you touched on it. You mentioned it just a little bit. So this is the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about because I know that predominantly Naturally Versatile was a pop-up boutique. You did a lot of pop-ups. You did a lot of events. And then 2020 hit and we couldn't have the events. We couldn't have the pop-ups. So how did Naturally Versatile fare during 2020? Because we talk about small businesses and how uh, the best of, uh, of businesses went out of business during 2020, uh, but you're still here. Naturally Versatile is still here. Uh, so how did you manage through the shutdown with your business? Uh, you already talked about launching your website, so that's a pivot that you made. But what are some of the other things that you did to keep your business stabilized, to keep it growing, keep it moving? Uh, if you did, talk to us a little bit about that because you'll help some other small businesses right through here because there's still some businesses that are struggling even right now, just trying to rebound from the pandemic and the shutdown. Uh, and of course, there's those businesses that are soaring and have never been better. Uh, and, but we want to talk to and be able to encourage, because that's part of what we do, uh, encourage other small business owners too. And the fact that you're still here and you're still thriving as a CEO, uh, talk to us. How did you navigate the terrain? Really simple. It was customer service. It was staying in contact with my customers. If I received something in, I would let them know. And, and, and even my customers, because they, they loved the things that I bought, they would reach out and say, hey, do you have anything new? but I would stay in contact with my customers. Listen, I would hand write letters or, or note cards saying, hey, I miss you, I got something new in. I would take those little small steps um, to let them know, hey, I'm still here. I may not be doing the pop-up shops. And, and I did have a couple of pop-up shops during the pandemic, but I made sure I let them know I'm still here. I may not have a, 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 a variety of product that I would normally have, but this is what I do have. And that support was there. And so that's how I was able to, you know, just continue to grow. And then in the mix of that, that's how the website came along because I knew as we came out of this pandemic, it had to be new, it had to be different. But I never, I never um, lost contact with my clientele. I, they always knew that I was here. And so that's how I, I maintained. I absolutely love it. You stayed in contact with your clientele. So you let them know, I'm still here. I, you know, what are your needs? You catered to people at a time where 
you know, it was various needs, right? So there's a lot of people that, look, they only had to be worried about from here up because we were doing everything virtual, but you had to be cute. You still needed your earrings, you needed your necklaces, yes. and you have accessories. And so people were probably looking and still had a need for some, some unique pieces. Uh, but then also it, it made people feel special, right? That you were yes. thinking about them and you valued their business. I also, my, the room that I'm in now, I, I actually broke it down because I got new inventory in that I was sorting through. But my room, I actually set it up like a boutique. And for those who had really built a relationship with, I, I allowed them to come in. And it was like they got the experience of being in a boutique. So I had friends to come in and they would, they it was like they were in a store. I had the little bags and I was like, okay, girl, let me get my little square and swipe it all out. And here you go. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Come back again, please. And I would have music playing. I said, I, I made sure that the environment was great. You know, just as you walk into the store, um, we had this concept of when um, customers would come into the store, treat your customers like you are treating a guest at your home. And so I got to do both. You were in my home, but you were also my client. And so I treated you just as like you were a guest in my home, but you were also my sister friend client. <laughs> and I would welcome you in and the ladies would come in and shop. And I had this mirror, you can't see it, but I had this mirror where they could see what they had on and right up above it, it says, hello, beautiful. And so I'm like, I'm really all about affirmations. So when they walk in, they see different affirmations. Um, I have different music playing um, and I offer them something to drink, but I just made sure that I created that experience for them where they could not go into the malls and shop. And although they were buying, you know, jewelry, it was still fun. <laughs> You know what? That was actually, I I love that. I mean, that was like personal shopping at its finest, right? Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that concept and that you did that. It was personal, but it was also special. That Okay, look, I couldn't fly nowhere, but that would have made me almost want to fly to Tulsa just so I could come have a personal experience, okay? Yeah. Uh, we couldn't go nowhere through the pandemic, but it would have made me want to go. Uh, that was actually a really great idea. And again, that comes from your customer service background. Look, you're not new to this. You are true to this, okay? <laughs> yes. Absolutely and that's a part of it. it. Like that, you know, with the customer service track that we're doing with PWIN, you know, for all the new boutiques that are coming out, you know, we, with PWIN, we're offering, you know, a service and a certification for you to be able to get to that level. You know, people, there's a post that I made the other day that said that people are craving kindness. You walk into a store right now and some people got attitudes because they don't want to be there. Some people, you can't go on a plane now without thinking that there's going to be a fight. The airports are just riled up. There's road rage that's happening. It's almost like people are on edge. And so with all these new businesses that are coming out, it is going to be key that you connect with your client on another level, because that's what's going to keep you growing. That's what's going to keep you going, those relationships. And I know you can't, as you grow and you get bigger, I know that it's going to be a little bit harder, but have those systems in play where your client knows this company cares about me. This company really values my dollar. And so those things are going to be key. And I, I highly recommend that if you're just starting out or you need to refresh your customer service skills, please check out In Lead Academy because it provides all of that. It's fun, it's easy, it's a track that you can go through and get through quickly and have that certification, but you can also use it to train others. Train your new staff. If you're just solo dolo right now, if God blesses you with an employee, you can train that employee to provide that same service that you're giving. So um, it, that customer service piece, I tell you, it is imperative for your growth. 
What you're talking about, Jennifer, is the unique proposition, right? What sets your business apart from all the other businesses that are out there? What makes your business uh, stand on its own? And that's what you've built for Naturally Versatile. It's in a league of its own. There's many wonderful boutiques, but it's the experience that people get with Naturally Versatile. It's the intentionality that they get with Naturally Versatile. Uh, it's you, that they get with Naturally Versatile. And that makes a difference. So that's a nugget. So to any of our entrepreneurs that are on, there, there's quite a few of you on, uh, that's definitely a gem that Jennifer just dropped. What is your unique proposition? What are you bringing different to the marketplace? Um, so that it draws people to your business and it, it causes people to want to spend their dollars. Uh, I, I'm, I feel like we're in this season. I mean, we've always been here, but I feel like we're in a season where we have to be intentional in circulating our dollars. I do not want to see another small business go out of business. I don't want to see another small business close its doors because revenue is not coming in. Uh, that was one of the, the fires that lit me and really made me excited about doing this Secure the Bag business showcase. On our watch, I don't want another business to go, another small business to go out of business. And they're closing doors every single day. Why? Because they're not getting the sales. They're not getting the revenue. Uh, now, there can be some others. There can be some training, which like Jennifer said, we got you. We got the, the In Lead Academy. We got you on customer service. And we got you on entrepreneurial training. I mean, we have over 50 courses in our entrepreneurial program um, to help you get your business right. Uh, but aside from that, it takes sales, it takes revenue to keep a business going. And I know a lot of times we want to say, you know, just share or have faith and believe and, you know, you can do all of those things. And that's part of supporting a small business. I agree. I agree that praying for that business owner, I agree that having faith and believing in them, uh, I believe all of those components help a small business. But you know what really helps a small business is a sale. What a sale. really helps a small business is you placing an order. What really helps a small business is being able to increase their revenue. That helps them be able to increase their inventory, be able to bring in employees, be able to increase their marketing and their promotion. It is nothing like using your dollars to support a small business. So for this month, for the whole month of August, we're asking you to do just that with Naturally Versatile. We're gonna be bold, we're gonna be brave, we are in faith, we're believing that we will have thousands and thousands of you that will go visit naturallyversatile.net and that you will shop with Jennifer, that you will find that piece of jewelry. I know LaDonia saw the butterfly necklace and, and that's her symbol is the butterfly. Uh, go on, check it out. See what is on her site that resonates with you. Uh, you may go to the site and you may not see something that resonates with you, but how many of you got like family birthdays that are coming up? You got birthdays of friends. There's anniversaries coming up. There's, you know, uh, graduations that are coming up. There's all sorts of things that are coming up. And for all of us that also host and promote businesses, uh, I'm sorry, promote events, we're always doing giveaways, right? And so you have to be able to purchase those items that you're giving away for your raffles at your event. What a great way then to go to Naturally Versatile and shop and buy something that you can raffle off at your next <laughs> event. There's so many different uses um, that you can get when you make a purchase. And, and I'm number one in line. I jumped on, I told y'all when I looked at the website, I saw a ring right away. I was like, that has my name on it. And then I saw another outfit and somebody close to me they had a birthday coming up and I was like, oop, I need a birthday gift. So I'm going to order this and this is going to be their birthday gift. And that's what I'm going to give to them. And I'm going to get it from Naturally Versatile. Um, so we can, we can get the gift, we can give it away, or we can use it. But support Jennifer this month, all the month of August. Now, look, I want you to support her ongoing. You're going to fall in love with her site. You're going to be back. But we want to really make a difference 
this month. We want Jennifer to feel the love. We want her business to be infused with the capital that it needs to be successful. We want to push her up as an entrepreneur, as a small business, we want to push her up. Uh, we want her to step in to her next level success. And by us circulating our dollars, we're doing just that. The other day I posted on Facebook a post that said, when you support a small business, you're not just um, helping a CEO buy a third vacation home, but you're helping a little girl get her dance lessons. You're helping a little boy get his jersey for his team. You're helping a dad put food on the table. You're helping a mom pay her mortgage or her, her rent. You know, you're helping this small business owner thrive and be able to take care of their business. Uh, I don't even know if you got a chance to see that, Jennifer, but how does that, talk to us a little bit about that, because you are a single mom. Uh, what does your business mean to your personal economy? It means a lot, you know, um, as, as well, making the decision, stepping out of, um, an, into entrepreneurship, I have some other things going on. But it means a lot because it, it's a part of my purpose and my season right now. And I know that I have to do everything that God has put in me to do to make this successful. You know, I know you hear a lot of people talking about uh, manifesting and the law of attraction and all of those things that's happening. Like I'm manifesting a hundred thousand dollar, you know, uh, a month business and all of these things. But if we think about it, you know, um, I heard somewhere where he said, at the end of attraction, the last six word letters is action. And you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work to be able to, to see the success. Um, faith without works is dead. And so for me, what that means to me is, is that I have to put in the work. I'm asking God every day for the strength, for the constant creation for me to grow this business um, because I have a son that I have to take care of. Um, there's no failing in this. It's only lessons that I can learn. And so I have a lot of lessons to learn as I grow as an entrepreneur. So it means a lot to me because this season that God has me in, um, in order for me to get to that next level, I got to learn what he's teaching me in this season. So with everything that comes my way, Every single day is, it's, it's a must. Um, there's no rest. There's no, I wouldn't say rest, but there's no, um, oh, let me chill and not do anything today. Every single day is important because I have that little boy in there to think about. I have our livelihoods to think about. And, and even with that being said, I, I'm not a selfish person. I understand that there's other ladies that are out here doing the same thing. You know, as Sharice talked about it earlier, with me, you know, being here in Tulsa, one of the things that I love to do is I love to support. I love to be able to go out and support other women. So, you know, representing PWIN, um, I don't take that lightly. Representing Naturally Versatile, I don't take that lightly. And so when I go out representing as PWIN, listen, I will go and support another small business. And when I go and have lunch with that young lady, I say, hey, here's a little gift from Snag's Boutique, or here's a little gift from, you know, um, Habit Boutique. Here's a little gift from this organization or that organization. I make sure that I try to do my part in getting the word out and supporting others because I want that in return. I, I, I want, and I, we need it as a community. We need that support in return. It's not just about the dollar, but if I have a community of people that's out here that is supporting you know, even if you're just sharing about the website, you could share with five people and two people to buy, but you shared and those people are now going to share. And if we just keep that in mind every day as we are building each other up and supporting each other or thinking about supporting each other, the smallest of things, it makes a huge difference. And so I think for us, you know, especially the newer, the newer entrepreneurs that's just kind of stepped into it, that is going to be key. Um, for you to, one, know that every day is important, but then to get yourself in a community of people that's going to help keep you going, 
get yourself in a community and partner with people that's going to say, hey, sis, you got this. You may not have made a sale today, but listen, you are anointed to do this. Tomorrow, it probably is going to double up. Tomorrow, it may triple up, but you got this. And you need that kind of community because you're not going to be able to do it on your own. It, you cannot you cannot do this on your own. You can get some tasks done, but you need a community of um, people that's going to help you. And that could be just cheerleaders every day, but you're going to need someone to help you. Support. Support is so key. Support. And that's exactly Support. what you're talking about. And I absolutely love it. You, again, you just drop those nuggets. I love it. I love it. Okay. Before we wrap up, do you have some pieces that you can personally show us? Yeah, I see some glasses back there. I know you have everything set up all perfectly, uh, but yes. do you have some pieces that you can show us. I do. So some sunglasses that I am going to be uploading today, which is really fun. Of course, you know I like bling, right? And bling bling is always fun. You always, gotta have, you always gotta have the bling. Don't play with me, Jennifer. Don't play with my emotions. You gotta have the bling. The bling is always fun whenever you're going out. Um, these, uh, this is the diamond crystal. It comes in cream and it comes in black. It has the the black, um, oh, here's the black, here's the black, really fun, you can do a lot of fun things with it, and here's my thing, when it comes to, like, pieces like this, I know they're, they're the unique pieces, but have fun with it, don't feel like you just gotta be stuffy all the time, and just wear the plain basic sunglasses, have fun with these, these glasses, then I have the retro, um, vintage glasses. These have been really popular. I've actually had to reorder these. I don't particularly wear these, but these have been really fun. They've been ones that have sold like crazy. The retro um, diamonds around the, the frame. And it comes with a, a pink lens, a yellow lens, and a black. Let's see. Um, another one that I have in frames. It's going to be this. You got the blings. You got the bling blings. And this, of course, I can see you rocking these, Sharice. <laughs> Girl, I'm over here. I'm trying not to pop in. I don't want to interrupt so you can show everything. But I am like, you know, okay, I got to come back and shop. So are those on the site now? These will be up today. I will upload these Oh, today. Oh, Jesus, she did it to me again. She just knows and how then, to get right to my heart. Of course, we have, so the French bag, I have the French bag here. So these are, the French, of course, it's going to always be popular. It's one of those classic, it's the hobo style that you can get. It's the vegan leather. leather. It comes with the chain as well. And then on the inside, it has multiple compartments. I don't know if you can see it, but it has multiple compartments on the inside where you can drop your, you can even put your laptop in here. But this bag, it's one of those classic bags that you can carry from season to season. And that's another thing. When I shop, I want to make sure that um, you have items that you can not only wear this season, but the season after. That you don't have to get rid of it because you have like all this, it's very trendy. But it's items that you can, you know, that you can wear from season to season. So there's that. And then, of course, as you can see on the mannequin, this man, this tie dye piece is actually a two piece. So it comes in top and bottom separate, but it is the tie dye rouge skirt. You can wear it with something else different, but I absolutely love it together because it's so fun. You can wear the shirt. I've actually worn the shirt with a cute little pair of shorts and did the whole tie dye look. And then I've paired the skirt with the, like a little black top and a nice necklace with a nice statement piece. But it's one of those pieces that you can mix and match with. Um, when the winter time comes, you can throw on a cute bodysuit and a leather jacket with that skirt and a cute little high boot and just make it your own. But the last piece I'll show, and I have some other things, but the last piece I'll show is my love earrings. Can you see them? These are my absolute favorite. Because you, as I said earlier, I love wearing like affirmation tees, but this, 
I love these because I love love. They come in gold and they come in silver. Um, they're not very heavy. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, there's one other thing I want to show. Those are so cute. And you are sending me into like cardiac arrest over here. I'm like, I'm gonna have to yes. do some more shopping because you didn't, you didn't got me with those glasses. Yes, and I have more glasses. Um, and then I just have like some cute little layered necklaces that you can get here. Just fun necklaces that you can throw on. Oh yeah, those see. are cute. The layering pieces are always key. Um, they're key this this um this season. But it is the gold with the little rhinestone link as well as the little chain, the plastic chain link. That's cute like, yeah. too. So I mean, check out the website. Like I said, I got more stuff coming up. Um, and I'm I'm uploading as time goes on, but I'm so excited and thank you for those who have already purchased. Cherise, you were the first one, so whoop, whoop, thank you. But listen, I, I truly appreciate you ladies and your support. Um, it definitely makes a difference. I had a ping, I actually, listen y'all, I, I just had a ping. <laughs> I love it. So thank you all so much for supporting. And just know that, you know, for, for me here in, in Tulsa, um, the p Win ladies that are here, we're all about supporting each other. And, you know, Cherise, everything that she's doing there in Arizona, I'm so excited about Secure the Bag. So excited about who is going to be on next month because I'm ready to support. I'll be, listen, I have my pockets ready. <laughs> Look, <laughs> so we're just, ready. Like, are ready. <laughs> Don't be like, let me get that, let me get that, let me get that. <laughs> so. I'm so ready. I'm with you, Jennifer. I am so excited. So let's talk a little bit about that as well. Um, because we are, I mean, this is just fabulous. When we start looking at, you know, um, at numbers and how many people we can reach and how many people we can bless and how many businesses that we can actually help them strengthen their economy. It's just absolutely crazy. Uh, but we're launching, this is a new program that we're launching. Uh, Jennifer was so gracious to be our first showcase. Uh, it allows us to walk through the process and be able to iron out everything. So as we continue in the showcase, we can do it in the spirit of excellence. So for this year, August is a showcase, October is a showcase, and December. We're going to do three more showcases, and we're only doing that so we can also ensure that we are, you know, on point and that we have our process in place. Uh, we want to do it in the spirit of excellence. We want to be able to keep track of what we're doing and how we're doing. And if we need to, you know, tweak some things, if we need to amp some things up, uh, how we need to approach it. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And in January 2022, every month, we will have a different showcase. And I'm thinking, Jennifer, at some point, we may even have to double up and, and do two businesses a month. Uh, but we're going to start out showcasing one every single month. So we have um, two more businesses in this year. And then next year, every single month, we're going to have a new business. Uh, so next month, we're going to have our business showcase. We're going to have Dr. Jamila Williams uh, with You Are Able Academy. So we're working with her now. And here's the other special thing about this business showcase, Jennifer, is that um, everything that we do at PWIN, we, we really try to take it to the next level. Um, so part of what we do as well is we will work with the businesses because we want to make sure that you're positioned and that you're ready for the influx of sales that we are claiming and that we are speaking upon your business. So we don't want you to get slammed and you don't have the capacity to fulfill all the orders. Or maybe you don't have a website or maybe you don't have everything in place we get the privilege to work with you and make sure that we can help you stand up your business if you need our assistance, if you need our mentorship, if you need our skill set to be able to help you. And then we get to showcase your business. Uh, so for those businesses that are, are, are tight and they've already been in business and we're showcasing them, then we just get to have fun and showcasing them. But those entrepreneurs that also need a little bit of our help in getting positioned for their showcase, we're in it to win it and we're in it to be able to assist them as well. Yes. Absolutely. 
and it has definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, he went, um, it, it has definitely been helpful for me. You know, Sharice and I, we met, uh, I think he said 2019, but we met in 2018. At oh, was it 18? Okay, yeah. we launched the in 19. Summit. Yeah, and um, I never knew that, I knew that I would be elevated, but I wouldn't know that Sharice would be along the journey with me. And from the moment that I met her in Tulsa at the Double Tree Hotel, um, it has been a relationship that has developed, that mentorship that I've received from her. Um, and just even the moments of me growing, um, I wouldn't say, you know, as I stepped out there that there was really fear more so than it was perfection because I wanted everything to be perfected. But hearing Sharice and her mentorship, she's, girl, you just better do it. <laughs> you know, and having those encouraging words. Giving you, know, you those like, looks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I love your look when you're like. <laughs> That's when I know. Listen, Jennifer, go ahead and get out of your own way and move forward. But everything that has been provided, it has helped me. Um, this organization, PWIN, it has been um, what has helped me grow throughout these years and, and getting me to the point and where I'm at. And for those who are out there, um, I, I just want to say this, you know, don't feel rushed. You know, I know a lot of people are out here, um, their, their businesses are booming, they, they seem like they have everything going, but don't feel rushed. Allow God to lead you, allow God to partner you with the right people. I'm not saying be stagnant, but allow God to partner you with the right people so that you can get what you need and grow and so that it will sustain you because you don't want to just be out here just doing it just because everybody else is doing it. Because when you get into this, I'm going to tell you, it's not, it's not just, oh, let me buy cute clothes and somebody's right. going to come to my website and buy it. Right. No, you got to have a system in play. How is your shipping going to be? Who are you going to ship through? Where are you going to get your shipping materials? Who's going to do your inventory when all your inventory comes in? Who's going to keep up with your systems? Who's going to keep up with your QuickBooks? Who's going to keep up with your website? All these things. And if you're trying to do this along with another nine to five, it's going to be a lot of work. So just know that it's important for you to be partnered with the right person. Stay in your lane. Be anointed in the area that God has you anointed in and see it grow from there. Don't feel rushed because being rushed and trying to keep up with social media, it will get you caught up and you don't want to get caught up. So um, that is that is really important. I'll tell you guys, it's really important. It's so valuable what you said, because here's the other thing, you know, especially with the pandemic, everybody rushed to go online. Uh, well, do you have procedures for cybersecurity? How are you protecting your website? How are you protecting uh, all of your online businesses? Have you even thought to that degree? Uh, how do you do business from a mobile perspective? You know, these are all courses that we even teach in our In Lead Academy with mobile essentials, cybersecurity. Do you have your administrative office procedures all set up? Do you have backups in place uh, in case something goes down or in case something's not working right? I mean, there's just so many components that go into it uh, with your sales and tracking your sales and, you know, online sales and in-person sales and just everything. It it is not for the faint of heart, okay? <laughs> and so you do have to be prepared. You do have to have people that will speak life into you, that will support you, that you can lean on, that will help you. All of those ingredients go in. But here's the thing that I'm going to leave with, and it's my job. I, look, I, I'm letting Jennifer empower you all, but you all, I, I'm asking for the sales. Uh, I am asking you to support Naturally Versatile, that you would go check out the website um, and that you this month, you got all month, all of August. So if it's not today, you still got plenty of time uh, this month. So if it's not this paycheck, maybe it's the next paycheck. Maybe you got to wait on some of your invoices to come in. But this month, Go check out Naturally Versatile. Um, based on what you told us today, Jennifer, we actually need to check every day or every other day uh, for all those new items that are coming out. Yes. Check out the website, naturallyversatile.net 
see what speaks to you, see what you like, see what you can give away and support this small business with your dollars, revenue, yes. revenue, sales, uh, and, and share. Those are the two things that we're asking you. Um, PWIN is asking you to support financially and to share the flyer, share the video. Uh, let's raise the awareness about around Naturally Versatile. Um, but we want you to do both. We want you to do both because that's what's going to help us circulate our dollars. That's what's going to help us strengthen our economy. That's, what, that's what's going to help our small businesses thrive uh, in this season. And so I, I look, I'm going to push that. I'm going to be pushing. I'm going to be pushing because that's what I want to see for these small businesses. And I want us to be able to make a difference. Y'all think about it. Out of between all of our social media platforms, you know, P Win. Naturally Versatile, Jennifer, all of you that are watching, everyone who's watching on YouTube and LinkedIn, wherever you're viewing this video, uh, when we look at all of our combined social media reach, it's probably in the millions. If we had a thousand people this month support Naturally Versatile, that's going to make a difference in the life of Jennifer's business. It's going to make a difference in the life of her son. It's going to make a difference in the life of her. It's going to make a difference in her capacity to give back to her community, to sow into other businesses and sow into other lives. And, you know, she's going to be sowing into other small businesses where she's getting some of her merchandise. And it just continues to be able to circulate that dollar. And we want to be a proponent of that. Um, so that is... That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Jennifer, thank you for allowing us to showcase Naturally Versatile. We absolutely love everything that you have shown us today. Um, thank you for pouring into us, for pouring into entrepreneurs. I will be back on the site because now I got to get some of those glasses. She just, she just touched my, my, you know, she knows how to get to me. So I got to get back on and, and make another sale because I need some of those glasses. Any final words that you want to leave with everyone? Um, well, thank you, Sharice. Um, just gratitude. You know, I, I say thank you to all who are watching right now, um, all who are going to support, um, whether it be with a sale or just sharing um, this video. Thank you. Um, I, I could not be here um, without the support of others. And so I just want to say thank you all. I look forward to the, um, the next businesses that are coming up, um, all about just like just really palm palming these small businesses. And for those who have taken the step to say, I'm going to do this, I just want to tell you, you got this. You got this. You have our support. And thank you for supporting me. So that is that is what I have and look forward to Naturally Versatile's growth and um, and as well as PWIN's growth. I love it. Thank you all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for jumping on. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for supporting PWIN. Thank you for supporting Naturally Versatile. It's your girl, Sharice L. Irby and... Jennifer Brown. Woo we love you. We appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fabulous rest of your week. It's Winning Wednesday, so make it count, and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye.